wildlife is a vital part of our state, one that Coloradans have chosen to protect. Wildlife crossing structures are a valuable tool in this effort, maintaining and restoring habitat connectivity for our state's abundant wildlife populations and increasing the safety of the traveling public. This moose and her calf are using a wildlife overpass on a busy section of State Highway 9. 17 different species made over 100,000 successful passages through the seven crossing structures that make up this mitigation system. Where we've built crossing structures, wildlife vehicle collisions have been reduced up to 90% and wildlife Wildlife movement corridors have been restored, yet there are nearly 150 segments of roadway, totaling over 450 miles, that have been identified as the highest priorities in need of similar infrastructure, but without sufficient funding to complete this critical work. In 2022, the Colorado Legislature acknowledged the significant need by introducing Senate Bill 151, Safe Crossings for Colorado Wildlife and Motorists. This is the best bill I've ran in four years here. Absolutely best bill I ran in four years. Senate Bill 151 passes. The bill established the Colorado Wildlife Safe Passages Fund and provided initial first-year funding for a select number of projects by financing construction needs, engineering designs, and early-stage planning. Following the bill's passage, the Colorado Wildlife and Transportation Alliance quickly worked to identify six critical projects to receive the new funding. Colorado State Highway 13 north of Craig received $475,000 to complete the construction of this underpass and fencing system. In Summit County, Interstate 70 is a major travelway for local communities, tourists, and commerce. The Eastvale Pass Project is using $750,000 as matched to bring additional federal grant funding to complete the design of three wildlife crossings. On Raton Pass between Trinidad and Colorado's border with New Mexico, $750,000 was allocated for a mitigation planning process intended to reconnect migration corridors across Interstate 25 and adjacent habitats around the newly designated Fishers Peak State Park. CDOT, CPW, and many partnering agencies, organizations, and tribes continue to collaborate and address the areas across the state that suffer the most from wildlife vehicle collisions. Across Colorado, over 4,000 collisions with wildlife are reported each year, and more than twice that amount go unreported. Many of these collisions not only result in animal deaths, but cause property damage, injuries, and even fatalities to humans. These collisions cost Coloradans over $80 million each year, which includes the value of the wildlife killed. The initial $5 million of dedicated funding provided through SB 151 is hard at work enabling projects that mitigate collisions with wildlife but there are still over 450 additional miles of roadway across the state that remain in need of additional, multi-year funding and support. Today, we have an opportunity to further protect wildlife and motorists by continuing to fund the Colorado Wildlife Safe Passages Fund and constructing many of these projects, especially by leveraging unprecedented federal funding opportunities available through the 2021 Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. The estimated cost of wildlife mitigation projects identified in CDOT's 10-year plan is conservatively $250 million. The continued advancement of wildlife crossing projects across the state is essential to protect protecting Colorado's wildlife and motorists now and into the future.